Hi friends, I'm glad to see you again. Are you ready to go into this spooky elevator that's probably Enclave related if we judge from the symbol painted on it? Because I am. There's a couple hostels on the marker at the moment, but I'm going to completely ignore them and go in here. If they are still out here and still wanting to fight me when I come back outside, then I will be more than happy to help with that. Is that a friend? That's not a friend. Whoa, 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 whoa. Dr. Orderly, MD, PhD, DDS. Okay, well that sounds like something that would be here, doesn't it? Oh, please don't like burn me with that. That's not like exactly what I want. Oh my goodness. I mean, you're kind of adorable. I wish I got to spend more time with you. But, you know, you're spitting fire at me, so... <gasps> Whoa! Mr. Orderly Mark IV. Sorry, Mr. Orderly. You just gotta go, buddy. Oh, there he goes. Who did that? How? Did they fight each other? Okay, for what must I die? I couldn't really hear you. Speak up a little. Clang. Okay, let's see what Dr. Orderly MD PhD DDS has. Valiance Radi Accentuator. That looks like a halo. Welcome to level 36. Okay. I mean, sure. Let me put some points in guns, I guess. I don't know if I'll keep all of them in guns. I might should put some of these in sneak. I don't know. So I could do another intense training. Or I can take strong back. I think I want to do that. I think I want to do strong back. But also, I'm interested in center of mass. But look, if we go down to the very end of the list, these are for like level 50, so I'm pretty sure I'll have time to take anything I really care about and a bunch of stuff I don't really care about. So for now, we're gonna go with strong back because that's gonna make me feel better during this. If only I had that for some other DLCs of interest. Hmm. Hmm. Christine's recon armor? Are you kidding me? And it says COS. Is that supposed to be BOS? Like Brotherhood of Steel? That's Christine's. That is Christine's armor. I knew it was her. Oh my gosh. So this other fellow, right? You know the one. The other courier, right? He's been like around. He's been getting around. We have intertwined destinies or something for sure at this point. Because we've been hearing about him since the beginning of the game. Like, the first town we go to after Good Springs is Prem. And lo and behold, Johnson Nash is telling me about a courier who came through. And then ever since then, it's just like occasionally I get a little hint. You know, it's super occasional. Like the kid with the head medicine telling me about, you know, meeting in the divide or whatever. It's gonna happen. It's going to happen. Ooh, auto dot cosmetic enhancements. I wonder what that's about. Is that gonna be like a face changer? Am I gonna be able to customize my appearance with that or something? I mean, I don't really feel like I want to do that right now, but it did say at the beginning that we can come back here. So I could leave and come back and do that. There's the auto dock and that is going to be its personality, I think. Okay. I would like to take the bottle caps and the cigarettes. More cigarettes. I already looked in this. Why am I opening it again? Well, Okay, so 
Christine tracked Elijah all the way here, and then he wrecked some trains and did all this crazy stuff, and she ended up following him to the Sierra Madre. That's wacky. So I wonder if you had played this one before Sierra Madre, if you would also be connecting the same dots. There's so many freaking Mentats. These are going to have some kind of very specific and maybe weird purpose. I can just feel it. I can just feel it, guys. I know. It's going to be a thing. Having that extra carry weight is super nice. Actually, I do want those. Gimme, 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 gimme. Gimme, gimme. Okay, so we can use this terminal. What's it going to say? Oh my gosh. Sierra Madre. Test case. Welcome, user. I heard one of the execs mention that whether Sinclair knew it or not, the Sierra Madre would be a test case for the Autodoc and the Innovative Toxins research. Maybe they were joking, but even that kind of joke sends a chill down my spine. If I got poisoned by one of those toxins, there's no way I would crawl inside one of the Y17 Autodocs here if my life depended on it. The medical tech for those trauma suits alone makes me wish they'd erase their research. The suits do more thinking than the people inside them. Y-17 trauma harness testing results. The Y-17 trauma harness has succeeded beyond our wildest expectations. The test harnesses were able to talk over the motor functions of an injured subject and walk them back to home base. That's bad. We'll have to see what develops once it's recorded enough neuro-auto-muscular movements to display a wider range of behavior to think if they could be programmed to replicate the wearer's shooting or fighting reflexes We'd have something truly amazing for the war effort. Okay, I mean, yeah. Some issues still remain to be ironed out before the Y-17 trauma harness is ready for general production. Calibrating the proper amount of Injury to trigger the suit remains problematic. Still, the little Yangtze subjects could hardly protest once inside the harnesses. If a home base is not designated, the suit enters an unpredictable wander state. And, as we discovered while calibrating injury levels the suit's sensors are unable to recognize whether the wearer is dead luckily autonomous corpse retrieval is nearly as useful as autonomous casualty recovery that explains a lot i'm also really uncomfortable now but that explains a whole lot. Can I use this at all? No? Okay. Uh, alright, yeah. So, basically, the suits pilot themselves. So, you can have a corpse in the suit, such as a Sierra Madre worker who got trapped inside. And then the suit will keep going. A C-13 implant from the auto dock. I don't trust these auto docks. So, you know, even if Dean Domino hadn't sabotaged that one thing to make it so that Christine could have Vera's voice, these auto docks are just spooky anyway. Okay. So, okay, uh, where am I going to go in here? Because I don't really want to go through that. 
It looks like I actually need to go back out to Big Mountain, but I'm not done in here. Can I pass this? I can't. There's a glove there, though, and what looked like holding cells. It's bizarre. And there's a coffee mug sitting right here. Give. Thank you. Okay, let's go outside and check the map. Did I do it successfully? Am I done? Did I get what I needed? I mean, I guess. I guess I did, but I clearly wasn't done with this place. How am I supposed to go about getting into... This is the auto dock here. Okay. Into that room. What is this room's business? Is it not something I can access right now? I guess it's possible that I will open this up later. So maybe I shouldn't stress out about it too much. But I am going to go up again. Just in case. Yeah, I really don't think there's anything else up here for me to think about. This isn't going to be usable. We know this one's not usable. There's nothing else in here. Oh, there is a coffee mug. But just coffee mugs. I don't see any more tapes or anything. The terminal just had information. Good information. But just information nonetheless. Okay. So I'm going to go outside now and hope that I can get through that force field later. Maybe there's something I can do to get Think that open. Tank. I wouldn't even use binary to describe my exponential hatred for you. What was that? This dog is sending like sonic beams. That's a very powerful bark you have there, Mr. Military Cyber Dog. My goodness! And previously there was another one that way? Maybe I should walk on these pipes. Because it looks like they go around. And there's a box there. Uh-oh, 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 uh-oh. Okay, 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 okay. There's another one right here. Yeah, I'm, I'm not gonna even... Okay, yeah. I was being too slow, and I thought I would back up, and then that was a bad mistake, and then pain. Okay? Okay. What is this up here? Looks like there's stuff below as well. Repair materials, really? I half expected to start hearing beeping as I went over. Okay. Well, I've pretty much made it back to the dome. I think I'll go inside, put some of this stuff in storage. Who's mad? You're mad? Okay. You can be mad, that's fine. What does that one have? What does that one even have? What? That's nuts looking. A proton axe? Are you joking me? I want it. He's behind the rock now. Maybe I should use this weapon more. I'm kind of neglecting it. Because I haven't had a lot of success so far. Where is this man? Okay, I probably shouldn't be letting... Mr. Proton X getting close to me. Okay, yeah, come on, creep. This is nice. Yeah, this is nice. Yeah, it's going. There we go. Hello, wrong puppy. How are you doing? Where did those lobotomites go? Let's get our long-range weapon back out. They ran this way. I want that proton axe. Don't you run from me. There he goes. Okay, dog. No. Bad puppy. That was kind of... 
spectacular to die that way. Oh man, I thought I would get out of the way a little bit sooner than that, but no. Okay, let's fix that limb. And I'll fix this one too, in anticipation of- Jeez! What? I'm not in it, no. No thanks. Ooh, a sunset sense for real. Okay. Let's try fighting him off. Is this even gonna work? No, he's too far. Stop it! Stop it! Stop it, stop it, stop it! How many of these do you have? NPCs usually don't have that many thrown. Okay, yeah, no. What happens if I try to hit this? I can't. Well, that's nice. It's not, you know, what I was gonna gonna do anyway, so that's that's fine. I don't even care. I don't even care. You know what? Let's go this way. Where is Mr. Proton Axe? He is fleeing. And I wish that he wouldn't. I wish that he would not flee. How am I doing? Maybe I should take a Hydra if I have it, which I don't think I do. I do! Okay, let's get some... Get some healing. I might need to start taking Fixer until I can get that cured. I don't know if I can get that cured here. Surely I can. One of the auto docs or something has to be able to fix that. I'm not gonna take all of this. I'm just not going to. Where are you at? Crazy thing. That didn't quite do enough to do. Stop it! You're not even looking at me when you throw. You're cheating. You are a cheater. Wait, are you Mr. Proton? I didn't realize Mr. Proton Axe had things. Unless you were not him and you just acquired it somehow. Look at that. Oh, that's so cool looking. Yeah, we got some radiation sickness going on, but I'm not going to worry about that at the moment. I'm going to keep moving. And I've gone in a big circle because I'm right back over here where I started from. Which means I guess I can take my weapons out of it that I stowed in there. And everything else. I suppose. I went all the way back to the dome and then ended up back over here somehow. So I am going to just take all of this stuff like a maniac. There we go. Okay, let me take a look at the world map. So I discovered the X7B Boomtown Target Zone. I think I'll travel up to it. So here's where we were. Here's a police dog that I'm mostly going to ignore. We have so many things. I need to take them home. I'm going to take a Rad away and a Rad X. And let's put more ammo in our weapon in case we need it so what is this place exactly is there an interior or is it only outside i bet there's like some stuff over in that building if i go over to it let's look on local map maybe we will find an entrance to an interior. Really? I've discovered a new thing already? Wow, things are like so close together. The map looks so much bigger than it actually is. Like, these things are not as spaced out as the map would have me believe, which is fine because it gives me more confidence in my ability to thoroughly explore everything. I will take the microfusion cells and the jet. Everything else can stay. Okay. So, this is not where we need to be. 
but it's where we are. What is that? Just toxic? Okay, that's just toxic. Let's move away from it. Let's move away. I want to look in this footlocker, though. What's in here? What do you have? Useful things? Cool. But also, I'm over encumbered now, so I am going to probably drink purified water. And then let's check. We're still good on sleep. I think maybe the sleep mechanic is broken again, so whoops. Whoops, whoops. If that's the case, let's eat the squirrel stuff and then move. So right now, unless I drop things, I'm not going to be able to pick up anything new. So I'm not going to worry about looting. I'll just come back here later. I just want to find if there is an entrance to this place. I mean, there's like this really big satellite dish tower thingy. So yeah, there is actually an interior here. Okay. So we know about that. And I'm going to walk back again to the dome. I'm going to follow the pipe. Oh, look, there they are. Oh, please, 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 please. No, 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 you're awful. You're awful. Let me switch to this. Boom, 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 come on now. Get it, get it. Taste the flavor of the electricity or whatever. Dude, what? That was kind of like a little messed up. Alright, I need to just get away. I need to just get away. I need to get away. I need to take some cover. I'm probably gonna get stim pack sickness if I keep using them like this. Oh, look, another pro Stop it, stop it, stop it, stop it, stop it, stop it. Stop it. Z9! Protalius DNA Preservation Lab. Okay. Okay, that's fine. 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 I don't really think they're smart enough to crawl on this after me, which means I feel like I can get them. So there goes him. Oh, come on, thingy. Don't do that. Okay. No, 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 no. Don't hit me with that proton X. Okay. So, that's taken care of. I think the Night Stalker is fighting this thing. But now that I'm out in the open again, it would rather fight me. Let's just hit him once. I think he's done. Fork in him and all that, and then you. You got that creepy headgear. Not that any of their headgear really looks okay, but that one is probably my least favorite. Okay, I am actually stuck. There we go. I would like to not be stuck in place during a firefight. Even if I only move a little bit, it's better than standing still. Where are you at, dude? Come on. Don't do this. Don't do this. I already told you not to do it, but you're still doing it. Nobody needs this, and yet here you are. There we go, he's done. Anything else? I don't see any other hostels. Okay. So, uh, there's a Skelly here. Hello, Skelly. Hi, have you been here for a long time? I bet you have. Boop. This goes into the DNA preservation lab, and I do want to go in there, but we have too much stuff, so I'm not even worrying about loot right now. I just want to get back to the dome, and let's go into our house. Should I call it a house? X12 Should I call it? is closed until further notice. On an unrelated note, whoever closed X12, please report to the dome. Okay. Who? Closed it? Which one was X12? X12 Research Center. That's really close by. I could go there. Easy. This is grass. This is blue grass. 
Maybe there's a music enthusiast here? <laughs> uh, obviously, eight planted this, right? Get it? Do you get it? So funny. Let's go up to the sink. Hello, thingy. Might I be of service, sir? Uh, yes, maybe. Very good, sir. And might I venture to opine that a new trilby might be just the thing to complete sir's ensemble. <laughs> okay, I'm gonna sell you the weapons that I don't need, of which there are many. And I probably should put some stuff away here. Yeah, I need to put some stuff away. I'll start by selling him those. And I also think I want to get rid of some of this ammunition I'm not going to be using. Normally, uh, back in the Mojave, I will put this stuff in storage in case I do decide to use it. But I think for our purposes right now, it will be better if I just get rid of it. So, there we go. Thank you. I will put these in my room in the trunk. So, let's put away the unique stuff first. I will put away my compliance regulator because I'm not using it at the moment. I will put away this. The Proton Axe is not unique, but I'm still going to put it away. I don't know if the Sterile Glove is unique or not, but I'm going to put it up. Christine's Recon Armor I will put away. And Dr. Klein's Scrubs. These things are not unique enough for me to want to put them in there, so I will put them in this footlocker maybe? No. Let's put them in this footlocker with the coffee mugs. So here we go. In here, we will have a scientist glove and all of this stuff. And I need to check this out, honestly. So what is that? What is this going to be even? Health regeneration and plus one endurance. If this looks like a halo, I swear, oh my gosh. I can wear this and my beret? Okay. Okay. That's good. That's weird. That is weird. What is this? My spine? My brain is missing. My heart. Literally, literally. My my organs are actually in the jars in here. This is your heart. Apparently, cranial surgery complications require its removal, and until your brain is returned, your heart can't be trusted to keep beating in your body. Your new heart seems to be working just fine, however. Let's look at where the brain is. Based on the other tanks in the room, you can safely assume that this is where your brain would be floating. It's currently missing from both the tank and its proper place in your head. But you seem to be doing just fine without it. Here's your spine. Without a brain stem to snap it onto, here it floats. Your back doesn't feel any different from the spine's removal. If anything, whatever was placed there makes you feel stronger. No, I want my spine back. I want my spine. Please. I want it. Should I put some of my stuff in here? I think I should. So let's go to... Miscellaneous. And in here we are going to put... Duct tapes. A fork that I ended up with somehow. Scrap metal. Scrap electronics, sensor modules that I probably am not going to need. Wonder glue wrenches. I'll put the cigarettes too. The cherry bombs. The dinner plate. I don't know how I ended up with a dinner plate. Put all of that away. And then the coffee mugs go in the coffee mug place. And there we go. I'm going to say that once this is put away, 
we're going to be ready for the next part of our adventure, which is going to be going to one of the other marked places on the map. I do want to... <laughs> equals MC squared. I do want to explore everything, but I think I'm going to start by doing this first quest first. So even though there's like a few different things I want to discover down there, I'm going to go ahead and head up north next. But I guess I'll do that next time. So yeah, okay. I'll see you soon. Bye friends.